practical hex mesh optimization via edge cone rectification. Hexahedral meshes are the discretization of choice for many simulation techniques. Simulation accuracy depends on both average and worst element quality, measured by how much the shape of the hex elements deviates from a perfect cube. Even a single concave or inverted element makes a mesh unsuitable for simulation. While various hex meshing methods exist, their outputs frequently contain poorly shaped and inverted elements. We introduce a novel framework for optimizing hex mesh quality, capable of generating inversion-free, high-quality meshes from extremely poor initial inputs. We recast hex quality improvement as an optimization of the shape of overlapping cones of tetrahedra surrounding every directed edge in the hex mesh and show the two to be equivalent. We iteratively improve cone quality. At each step, we first solve a set of local per cone convex constrained optimization problems, followed by a global quadratic energy minimization step which reconciles these local solutions. Our method produces inversion-free, high-quality meshes, starting from inputs generated by a range of meshing methods. In every case, our method produces high-quality, inversion-free results. We are able to successfully optimize inputs with extremely poor quality. In our experiments, we successfully generate inversion-free meshes from inputs with over 90% non-convex elements. We provide both direct and indirect comparisons to existing optimization methods. Our method consistently generates higher quality meshes than the popular Mesquite software package. Their method fails to untangle many input meshes that we succeed on. Our method also produces higher quality meshes than the method of Rui Girones et al. The method of Rui Girones also fails in this armadillo model. Here is an area where their method fails to untangle elements despite the surface mesh being high quality. We indirectly compare our method to those of Payet et al. and Marichal. Running our method on their outputs significantly improves the quality of these meshes without deviating from the surface. We also compare our method to Egerman et al by treating the hex mesh as a union of overlapping tetrahedra and optimizing it with their tetrahedral optimization framework. If we run their code with all boundary vertices fixed, their method fails to untangle even simple inputs. With the boundary free to move, their output drastically deviates from the input surface. Further information on runtimes and convergence is available in the paper. Thank you for watching.